if you can weigh in a bit more specifics in a, in a little bit more specific way. So we've been doing a lot of this voluntary hammering in the community, reading, talking, public spaces, private spaces on a regular basis. I can see that. And it's, uh, so I guess my my question to everybody is, because part of this TOPG is supposed to be a way to debrief, a way to process the experience through your comments and observations and questions. So that's what we want to lead with pretty much when with with like with in every meeting that's going to be the front loaded part of the session so i'm curious to know we're all curious to know how is it going for you what are your observations what are your comments what are your questions what are you gaining out of this and um, you know is it moving the needle for you in some way is it making a little difference to your level of reactivity in the experience and so just 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 things to things to think about things to ponder um, so anybody who's ready just raise your hand and, and get going anybody huh. just start just start uh, hello sir good evening uh sir mera jo last week ka jo experience raha hai वो ये रहा है कि जब मैं वॉलेंटरी स्टेमिनिंग की बात करना चाहूँ तो मैंने पहले मैं हेजिटेशन थी मैं 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 उस बात को करने से पहले बहुत ज़्यादा हेजिटेशन होती थी बट मैंने अभी लास्ट वीक एक दो बार मैंने पूरा अपने माइंड को पूरा प्रिपेयर करके फुल भरी भीड़ से भरी हुई बस में लाइट वॉलेंटरी लाइट वॉलेंटरी की विद फुल आई कांटेक्ट एंड वहाँ पे आ, उसमें सभी तरह के लोग थे गर्ल्स भी थी बॉयज भी थे और सभी तरह के लोग थे तो आ, सभी ने मेरे को देखा तो था एक दो आ, आसपास के लोग थे ऐसे बट मेरी मैंने जो आ, ये सोचा कि जो ए, 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 यहाँ पे जो मेरा जो मेन जो गोल है तो वो ये है कि मेरे को वॉलेंटरी स्टैंडिंग करनी है तो मैंने सर फुल आई कॉन्टेक्ट और फुल सिंसियरिटी के साथ एंड फुल कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ मैंने वो चीज बोली तो कोई भी रिएक्शन ना कोई भी रिएक्शन था नहीं बट क्या होता है कि जब हमारे आसपास कोई ऐसी अलग चीज हो, हो रही होती है फिर अतरंगी चीज हो रही होती है तो हमारा आ, तो हमारा उस पर ध्यान जाता ही है तो वो इसलिए आई थिंक मेरे को लगता है कि वो हमें वो दे, 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 देखते हैं बट बट सर फिर भी यदि हम 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 हमारे में में ये बात है कि हमने ऐसा क्यों क्यों और लोग ने हमें क्यों देखा तो फिर हमें, तो फिर फिर हमारी जो एक्सेप्टेंस है वो और लेवल उसका ज्यादा हो जाएगा तो इस तो इसमें मैंने ये सीखा कि हम कहीं पर भी हकलाते हुए भी अपनी बात को एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं यदि हमें अच्छे लेवल की एक्सेप्टेंस है तो ये वाला आ, मैं पॉइंट बोलना चाहूंगा और सेकेंड पॉइंट है इसी में कि जब मैंने कल काफी लॉन्ग टाइम बाद अपनी मम्मी का आया कॉल तो मैंने उसको फर्स्ट दो दिन एक लाइन पर मैंने कुछ शब्दों पर लाइट वॉरेंट रिस्टम की बहुत ज्यादा तो वो ऐसे बोली अरे तेरा ये हकलाना वापस आ गया तो पहले मैं उनको एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पा रहा था बट अभी जब मेरे को अवेयरनेस है तो मैंने फुल उनको सारी चीजें एक्सप्लेन की तो उनमें ये चीज थी कि ना ज्यादा मैंने अच्छा बोला ना ज्यादा बेकार बोला बट ये है कि मैंने उनको सारी चीजें समझा दी तो यदि हमारे पर नॉलेज है और यदि जो समझना चाहता है तो यदि हम उसको समझा भी दे रहे हैं तो फिर भी एक जो सेल्फ एलोजर है वो हो गया और एक और एक पॉइंट में इमोशनल रिकवरी पर यह बोलना चाहूंगा कि जब अपन पुरानी यादों को अपने मन में लेके बैठे रहते हैं जब उनको कैमरा के देख के अपन एक्सप्लेन करते हैं तो आ, हमारे जो मन उतना हल्का होता है और हमें ये मालूम चलता है कि जितनी बड़ी मैं इनको समझ रहा था ये उतनी बड़ी है नहीं और फिर हम इमोशनली रूप से और स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाते हैं और फिर हम लाइफ में आगे बढ़ने की को, 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 कोशिश करते हैं तो ऐसे ही एक एक करके वो सभी यादों में मैं हल्का हो गया सो थैंक यू सो मच सर तो मैं एक बात आपसे सवाल पूछना चाहता था रजत आपने जो दूसरा पॉइंट किया कि आप मम्मी से बात कर रहे थे उन्होंने बोला की आपकी हकलाट वापस आ गई तो क्या जवाब दिया आपने उनको uh, तो मैंने सर उनको ये जवाब दिया हेलो हेलो मम्मी एक्चुअली ये हकलाट का uh, पैटर्न ही ऐसा है कि मैं कभी मैं ज्यादा हकला सकता हूँ कभी मैं 
काम हकला सकता हूँ बट ये है कि जो मैं रिएक्ट कर रहा हूँ जैसे कि आपने मेरे को बोला कि अब तू ज्यादा अकला रहा है या कोई सपोज करो अभी तो आपने बोला है बट कल को कोई मैं वहां पे आया गांव में आया तो वहां पे कोई और ये बोल रहा है कि अरे ये तो बहुत ज्यादा तेरी हकलाट इतनी ज्यादा हो गई इतनी तू इतनी तू क्या बोल रहा है तो वो मेरा वो मेरा रिएक्शन है नहीं और ना ही मेरा उस पर कंट्रोल है बट जिस चीज पर मेरा कंट्रोल है कि मेरी जो बॉडी या मैं जो रिएक्ट कर रहा हूँ वो मैं कम करते करते यदि मैं जीरो लेवल पर आ गया तो फिर इससे मेरी लाइफ पे कोई भी इम्पेक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा बाकी का तो लोग जो 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 सोचते हैं वो सोचते रहेंगे या फिर जो समझने वाले हैं वो से, 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 समझ जाएंगे सर right, ये मैंने right. उनको एक्सप्लेन किया हाँ सो थैंक यू फॉर दैट आई थिंक इसमें यू नो ईज इंक्लूडेड है आपने एजुकेट किया अपनी मम्मी को एजुकेट किया या बोला कि कर सकते थे या किया कि आपने यू you नो know, ये वेरिएबल चीज है कभी ज्यादा होगी कभी कम होगी दिन पर दिन चेंज होती रहेगी तो उसकी नेचर ही ऐसी है टैमरिंग की नेचर ही ऐसी नेचर ही ऐसी है जब जब हम किसी ऑडियंस को किसी लिसनर को ये बता रहे हैं तो इनडिरेक्टली अपने लिए वकालत कर रहे हैं अपने लिए एडवोकेट एडवोकेट कर रहे हैं इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस फिनोमिन दिस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्टैमरिंग टू समी एक चीज और मैं ऐड करना चाहता था इसमें क्योंकि काफी बार यहाँ पे थेरेपी में ग्रुप्स में देखा है लोगों के कि जिन लोगों को कम हकलाहट होती है थेरेपी में ज्यादा हकलाहट होनी शुरू हो जाती है That is part of therapy. That is part of the work, part of the change. क्योंकि हम जब जब इतने सालों से छुपा रहे हैं जब हम दिखाएंगे तो ऑब्वियसली ज्यादा होगी लोगों को ज्यादा लग लगेगी सो दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्रेस शोइंग योर स्टैमरिंग बिकॉज वेन यू बीन हाइडिंग इट स्टैमरिंग हैपनिंग मोर बिकॉज यूर शोइंग इट यूर विलिंग टू शो इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द रिकवरी इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस इसलिए वी कैन नॉट यूज you know the absence of stammering as a yardstick for progress all the time it depends it depends a lot on where you are with it with the, where you where you are you know where you are in terms of being covert with it hiding it and so on and so forth so i've seen lots of therapy sessions here where people say we're not hearing enough stammering in the room we need to hear more we need to hear more uh because uh part of coming out is being more open about it and therefore stammering in situations that we were not stammering in the past and of course stammering with more willingness and with more agency with more control all of those things thank you so rajat ka experience now ne teen baatein batayi anybody else wants to go next yatha yeah thank you amit sir uh meri progress rajat jitni to achhi nahi hai but yeah first of all hats off to rajat and his uh, activities uh, so i have been trying voluntary stammering uh, but still there is a fear of you know doing stammering in front of people by so it is like uh, mummy ke samne apni apni dost ke samne uh, so that is fine uh, but i want to try it more in front of people without uh disclosing that i am doing voluntary stammering so mm -hmm. like i have uh, i have disclosed in front of my mother in front of my friend that i am going to do voluntary stammering now which has made it easier to do it and but i want to face it in front of someone that who doesn't know that i am about voluntary 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 stam uh, yeah well, so that is one thing uh, i have still to face some real challenges in this uh, domain and talking about emotional recovery uh it was a uh, great to you know uh come uh, like show my emotions in front of the camera and uh, like i wrote as a uh, letter to myself uh, like to my stammering and it was like i read read that letter uh, every day once once every day and like i don't know but it is so purely written and i just love to read it i don't know why so uh and other than that uh, 
like i have started journaling from this uh, week so that is also like uh, i had lost touch with my writing skills so i mm. just love writing my thoughts down and so that is some of the progress i have done in the recent times that's great thank you that, that's that's fantastic so apne aap ko kisi aur se compare ka karne ka koi point nahi hai group mein kyunki kyunki hum log aur dusre dusre level pe hain experience hai nahi hai it's all very different right so it's like wherever you are meet yourself wherever you are uh that's the that's the big uh, important thing over here so if you've started the journaling now if you if you're going to do it periodically or sporadically whatever it is you know do it within your own particular capacity and let that grow let that you know that should be your own your own baseline not somebody else's fantastic i have a couple of questions for you yatha so you're saying um you want to try voluntary stammering with somebody without telling them that you're going to do it what is like so you think telling somebody you're going to do it is a little bit easier versus yeah. not okay yeah that why is, is easier. easier why is it easier um because telling someone that i am about to do something uh, takes off the pressure uh, pressure out of it and so uh when you are actually in a difficult situation and you yeah. want to do voluntary stammering at that point i might not be able to succeed uh, successfully do it because uh, that situation is very different from mm-hmm. what i have been practicing uh, mm-hmm. with other people by disclosing it beforehand so mm-hmm. and voluntary stammering comes really handy i have tried it once or twice when in a pressure situation and it really mm-hmm. takes off the pressure from your mind when mm-hmm. you volunt- when you do voluntary stammering so i want to do it in hard i want to be able to do it in hard situations uh, uh, so i want to practice that okay so let's unpack that a little bit more takes the pressure off what's the pressure what is it why is the pressure and what is it taking off uh so basically the pressure is that what will other people think so basically that is the pressure and yeah. when you disclose it and uh, that pressure goes away because he knows or he or she knows that uh okay. i stammer or i do vol- i am doing something uh mm-hmm. like they are not surprised so basically that that acceptance part is still uh, uh i am grasping a hold of and yeah. you know progressing yeah. through it yeah yeah great so basically i just want to summarize what your thought said just to co- connect it to something else um what you're doing in a voluntary stammering situation is engaging in novel speech behavior agar ek apne speech behavior saath koi cheez hum nahi kar rahe hain kuch naya kar rahe hain apne stammering ke sath aur naya kar rahe hain is dhyan is dhang se nahi kar rahe hain ki hum nahi haklaye naya is dhang se kar rahe hain hum dusre tarike se haklaye लाइट वॉलेंटरी स्टैमिंग करें उसके साथ एक्सपेरिमेंट करें वी डूइंग समथिंग नॉवल इन विद आर स्पीच एंड इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डू समथिंग नॉवल विद आर स्पीच बिकॉज स्पीच इज जस्ट जस्ट इनग्रेन्ड इनकल्केटेड मोर मेमोरी ऑल ऑफ दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इट्स वेरी मच टाइड टू आर आइडेंटिटी ऑफ हु वी आर एंड हाउ वी कम्युनिकेट एंड वॉट इमेज वी प्रोजेक्ट एंड ऑल दैट सब सो डूइंग समथिंग नॉवल विद स्पीच इज नॉट इज नॉट एन ईजी थिंग टू डू so i think one of the things that you do when you tell somebody that you're going to be doing something novel with your speech now fill in the blanks with novel could be anything could be voluntary stammering could be using a technique could be a combination anything that you're doing differently with your speech if you tell people that you're going to do it you clarify expectations i think when you're talking about easing off on the pressure it is because communication is synergistic it's symbiotic you know it's like what i say doesn't depend entirely on what i want to say I, i'm taking it into account a little listener in 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 a, in a very focal way so if we go ahead and tell people that i'm going to be using a voluntary stammering and a pull out when i'm talking to you never mind what it is i'm going to be doing something different with our speech we give ourselves permission to do these things and sanction 
or permission to do these things is very important because it's a, it's automatic behavior. It's such automatic behavior that it's important to kind of also do it. I think one of the other points I want to connect to what you said about reducing pressure is reducing time pressure. That's a big one. That is a big one in the stammering experience. Taking your time to tell somebody that you're going to be doing something with the speech rather than rushing, right? It's like really resisting time pressure in the moment, whatever we can do to, to resist time pressure in the moment. Pausing is a way of reducing time pressure. Taking a swig of water before you want to say some, something is another tool that we can use to sort of resist time pressure. Whatever we, whatever experiences that we can give our body to reduce time pressure is going to make everything a lot easier because I think what, what really gets in the way of this is the time pressure. And it, it, it's 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 so much part baked into the life experience that we do that we don't even notice it. We don't even identify it as time pressure. But keeping in mind that we're feeling a lot of time pressure and these are ways, these are devices to reduce time pressure is sort of the other way to sort of do it. So when you're telling somebody you're going to pause more frequently, there are going to be more silences in what you're going to be saying. You're going to move your mouth, your speech a little bit differently. Let's say you want to practice a voluntary stuttering with a pull out, just like that. Or if you want to do a little cancellation, that may sound like that. That. All these are ways of reducing time pressure. So um, when you're taking, when you're saying taking the pressure off, I read that as time pressure right away because I think that is very much part of the experience. What were you, what were you going to say, Dr. Sachin? Uh, I just wanted to share one thought for your thoughts to consider. Mm. Um, informing uh, people that you're going to do one piece tampering, uh, view this thing from their perspective also. What would they mm -hmm. prefer? I mean, if, if somebody is playing a practical joke in my presence, it may not harm me at all. But sometimes I would still want to uh, want to have some some early warning about that. Some mm -hmm. people, uh, as they say, that uh, no surprise, no surprise is a good surprise. <laughs> I mean, uh, so sometimes this element of surprise uh, has to be seen from the perspective of the other person also. Will it, will it make him more comfortable if we tell them in advance that I'm going to do something which they may not be expecting? Just a consideration. Thank yeah. you. That's all I Yeah, I, I will like try to do that voluntary stammering with the people I am comfortable with without telling them. That is a start I can do. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is isn't. Yeah. Any kind of behavior that is challenging, do it in your comfort zone first. That's the bottom line, right? That's basically the bottom line. Feel comfortable with something challenging within your comfort zone. And then you will give yourself, your body, the like the, the experience to say, I did this. I have some momentum. I'm going to capitalize on this momentum and do something else. So I would say to everybody, including your Atharth, particularly your Atharth, that if you're trying to do something different, which is doing voluntary stammering without some... Be experimental both ways. One day, tell somebody that you're going to do it. One day, don't. Go back to it. You know, Keep it at the center of your mind. And you don't have to do this all the time. Just do it once a day, right? With a, with a communication partner that you trust, tell them, put yourself on a timer and say, I'm going to do it for 90 seconds. And that's about it. Next time, <laughs> do it with somebody else without the thing, but keep it lim limited. Keeping it time bound is very important because any data that you gather is going to be much more reliable, much more valid if you are intentional about it, if you're focused about it. So, cool. okay, great. So Yathar, Ajat, who wants to go next? Yes, Arjun, Dr. Arjun. Arjun. <laughs> sir, hi, sir. Uh, first of hi. all, good evening, everyone, and good morning to Dr. Amit. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I first want to uh, speak about the video on emotional recovery. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, 
ever since joining isa i have been on the road to emotional recovery and uh, also completing mooc 1 last year that also gave me a uh, you know a different feeling inside so even when i as uh, as uh, stammer i don't mind it as much now so when i was doing the video i was very comfortable i don't think that i uh, felt bad at all i was able to laugh at it and uh, there is absolutely no sense of guilt or embarrassment at all not that has i think uh, healed a lot mm -hmm. and uh, coming to the video on voluntary stammering yes i did it in a self help group uh, and it was nice to do voluntary as uh, the stammery but uh, what i observed is once i got into the conversation more somehow my mind was more focused on what i wanted to say than focusing you know on voluntary uh, stammering so i felt that it needed more uh, awareness i needed to be more conscious of what i wanted to do and that's when and i was reminded of what dr amit said that you need to do it only for a short uh, span of of time for 60 seconds if you plan to go on with the entire conversation with voluntary stammering then that might be a bit more challenging yeah. so i think that i need to limit myself say, to 30 or 60 seconds where i focus mainly on voluntary standing so i don't give anything important away at that time and then once i finish that but maybe then i can start focusing more on the subject so that's yeah. one thing that i think <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so thank you for sharing that, Arjun. I think uh, just one quick comment over there. I saw your video in which you were doing voluntary stammering with pullouts in the cab, right? You were in a car. Um, yeah, yeah. You were okay. So, one of the things that any of us can do, including people who have had some experience with using a technique like a pullout or whatever it is, Rajat, I know can do it, and you can do it, uh, uh, Arjun. Arjun, that was a cancellation on your word. um is um try to try to do some voluntary stammering with pullouts that would be the that would be the next level challenge if we if we if we if we want to do it right so rajat knows how to do it and arjun knows how to do it and there may be other people in the group who also know how to do it give yourself the additional challenge ki main ek do aur video banaunga वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग करूंगा टाइम बाउंड वे में साठ सेकेंड या नाइनटी सेकेंड जो भी है दो मिनट जो है किसी टॉपिक पे बोलूंगा और अगर मुझको चैलेंज अगर रेज करना है तो कॉन्वर्सेशन में बोलूंगा किसी के साथ लेकिन दो मिनट से ज्यादा नहीं बोलूंगा कोई हैवी टॉपिक नहीं लूंगा ताकि मैं वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग और पुलाउट के ऊपर फोकस कर सकू इसलिए अगर आप क्योंकि वो नेचुरल ट्रांजेक्शन होगा फिर टेक्निक का यूज करने में नेचुरल ट्रांजेक्शन होगा goes back to the to the same point i was making last week ki agar hum agar hum agar hum apni voluntary stammering stammering ko apni regular stammering ki proxy maan le to uske sath hum khel sakte hain much easier to play with it uske ke sath prayog karna uske sath experiment karna is a lot easier to do than stamp than experimenting with a natural stammer which is much more difficult to do it's much more entrenched behavior so agar aap novel behavior mein engage kar rahe hain voluntary stammering kar rahe hain to usme naturally build kijiye ki hum thode se pull out bhi try kar sake that way you're practicing block correction in start up block correction while you're simulating the little locks in your speech notice i'm doing all these pull outs with full eye contact and this is something you can practice you know you know very easy to practice this on your own don't expect that what you will do practice on your own solo is going to carry over into a social environment because your body is going to be different but the idea is that if you do 
practice a little bit of a, a voluntary stammering with the pull out, which is the topic for module three techniques, more techniques, then I think one will get some preliminary experience of what I look like when I do the voluntary stammering with the pull out. And I'll be able to do the pull out in different kind of ways. I can do a pull out that sounds like this. I can do a pull out that sounds like this. I can do it in many different ways. So uske saath khelo. Basically play with it uh, is kind of what I would recommend. So if, you're, if you've done enough voluntary stammering next last week, build a pull out practice into it this week. That would be the that would be the uh, next level challenge. Thank you. Uh, let's go to somebody else. Rahul, आप आप कुछ अपने observations अपना experience बताना चाहते हैं आप कोई कोई questions हैं सवाल हैं? Sir, actually तो एक तो sir पहले तो thank you sir और ऊपर से देर से आने का sir actually इसलिए बात की क्योंकि जो हम विकास सर के के सुपर विजन में हम जो है लॉन्च सर जो जो है वो चलता है और सर मुझे पहली बार आज फील हुआ कि सचिन सर क्या फील करते होंगे स्टैमरों से जो है वो जो है उनको रोकना उनको कि भाई टाइम के हम हम टाइम से बहुत आगे आ गए और वो वो उनका जो वो जो माइक हाथ से छोड़ना उनके लिए बड़ा इम्पॉसिबल सर अच्छा सर मेरा एक्च जो जो अभी मैंने एक अपने दोस्तों के साथ सर एक वीडियो बनाया था तो उसमें से मेरा एक दोस्त है वो जो तो वो मुझे बोलता है कि कि जिस जिस एक्सप्रेशन से भले ही अकला करके ही तू तूने बात की पर बोल रहा पर ऐसे मैं ऐसे कभी भी मतलब इस ढंग से तो मैं कभी भी नहीं बनाऊंगा जिस ढंग से तूने ऐसे वीडियो बनाई है तो वो बोला मुझे खुद वो बड़ा के शौक है तो मैं मैं भी इसको देख करके मैंने कहा यार तो मुझे अब मुझे जब जो है फिर उसके बाद जब उसने मुझे बोला मैंने फिर उसके बाद वो जो वीडियो थी मैंने वो वो देखी तो मुझे लगा कि हम मैंने कहा यार तो कुछ कुछ कर अलग सा कुछ हुआ ह� very natural, very spontaneous. It was great. So, what did you say to your friends? What did you say to your friends? I said, बोला कि जिस ढंग से तूने ऐसे ऐसे वो जो एक वो होता है ना वो जो ऐसे ऐसे जो जो होस्ट टाइप के क्योंकि एक्चुअली होस्ट करते करते क्योंकि जो जो लाउंज में जो होस्ट करते हैं वो होस्ट करते करते मैं पहले उसको उसको इस ढंग से किया तो उसको पहले तो वो वो मतलब उसको मतलब उसने मुझे इस ढंग से कभी देखा था नहीं ये सर ऐसे कि मैं इस ढंग से मैं बात कर करूँगा कि हाँ ये के के ये मेरे साथ बैठे हुए हैं अब मैं मैंने ये अभी आपने स्कूल में कैसा किया तो वो वो ये सब तो उसने मुझे बोला कि मैं कभी भी ऐसे ऐसे तूने जो वीडियो बनाई है तो मैं ऐसे कभी भी नहीं बना पाऊँगा ये तो उन्हें बहुत � बताया कि ऐसे करना ऐसे करना तो तो मैं उसका कंप्लीमेंट सुनके मैं मैंने कहा यार चलो यार मैंने मैंने कहा ये वाली वीडियो एक बार फिर से देखते हैं इसमें ऐसा तो इसमें क्या तीर चल गया फिर जब मैंने उसको खुद से देखा देखा मैंने कहा यार तो तो कुछ अलग हुआ ना सब अब तो अब अब लग रहा ह तो गुड गुड तो अभी आपने अपने अभी आपने बोला कि और किसी ढंग से बन बन बनाऊंगा तो ये अपने अप ये चैलेंज ले लीजिए अपने लिए अगले हफ्ते कि अगर दो और दो तीन लोगों को अगर आप चेंज कर कर सकते हैं ऑडियंस दो तीन और फ्रेंड्स को ऐसे 
in fact next week is the stammering interview that is part of the thing kyunki agar aapne uh, that's going to be the next thing we're going to chat about after we take the observations from a couple of other people ki next module mein stammering interviews included hain to agar aapko apne jaise ki rahul agar aapne aapko दो तीन लोगों के साथ तीन लोगों के साथ दो लोगों के साथ जो भी है अगर आप स्टैमरिंग इंटरव्यू करनी है वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग करके के स्टैमरिंग इंटरव्यू भी अगर आपने करनी है तो वो इनकॉर्पोरेट कीजिए तो आई वुड आई वुड से टू यू इनकॉर्पोरेट वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग इन वट एवर टास्क दैट यूर गोइंग बी डूइंग नेक्स्ट वीक get comfortable with that right so these are just ways of getting comfortable you've already talked to your friends aapke friends jante hain aapke ke kya aapka ek aapke ek nayi side unko dikhai unko dekhi is jo jo aapne video banaya uske dwara to ek aur video banaiye dusre logon ke sath voluntary stammering kijiye thoda sa light voluntary stammering kijiye agency se kijiye thoda control se kijiye just work that into whatever next you're going to be doing Let's take a comment from Madhurema. I just want to say one thing. Yeah. The friends who are saying Rahul, Rahul, tell me that you are, in my opinion, you are a very strong kind of man. Very strong kind of friends. There is a saying that there is a man, there is a woman behind every successful man. I would like to paraphrase that and say there are great friends behind a successful man. I would like to paraphrase that and say there are great friends behind a successful man. and i really mean that because friends when people who support you i mean even the people in pisa who support you yeah. uh, they can really transform your personality your attitude towards uh, being social your attitude towards the uh, towards communication itself yeah. the stamina to keep ho jayegi lekin you will still not be social if you don't have friends yeah you may learn how to talk fluently but if you don't have friend and a supportive group you will never become a truly social human and that is why having such friends is a huge blessings appreciate them give them a treat whenever you can mm-hmm. you spend time with them thank you mm-hmm. over yeah, to madhurima good uh, <laughs> madhurima are you getting very very nervous with all this waiting yes with sir with this waiting i'm sure you must be getting very nervous <laughs> yes sir like uh, when i uh, thought that i uh, have to uh, share my feedback but uh, but the uh, thought of raising the hand was a, a bit uh, scary you know among all these uh, people yeah yes yeah so about the feedback so first is the emotional recovery so when i uh, didn't uh, feel any kind of hesitation while uh, talking about my uh, painful uh, past events because i have uh, done it earlier also but uh, yes uh, like uh, talking about my uh, true uh, feelings which are uh, very aggressive like uh, i mentioned in the uh, video Uh, that i want to uh, choke them and all so uh, those are uh, very aggressive uh, feelings one can have so uh, when uh, like uh, when i was uh, talking about that so uh, there was this uh, th- uh, there was this thought in my mind that what if uh, the uh, viewers of this uh, video uh, will uh, think about me uh, that uh, whether uh, they will uh, think uh, that i am a very uh, bad person and not a very forgiving person because in our uh, uh, society it is always expected that we have to act very uh, gentle and uh, forgiving but i don't uh, think so that we have to be uh, forgiving so that was the thought which i had and about the uh, voluntary stammering well i was um, not um, 
feeling any shame uh, but i was uh, thinking that uh, with whom i should do this uh, voluntary uh, stammering uh, so that it uh, can be more, more uh, challenging uh, so i uh, did it with uh, three uh, people um, one is the uh, receptionist of a, a diagnostic center but i unfortunately uh, couldn't upload uh, that video and i also uh, did it uh, with a, a stranger uh, zomato a delivery girl and also with my friend and uh, uh, this uh, friend uh, used to uh, give uh, my attendance when i got uh, stuck in my class uh, so uh, so uh, she know that what my uh, stammering looks like so and uh, so like when i was doing this uh, voluntary stammering i uh, didn't uh, feel uh, pressured because uh, for me like uh, this voluntary uh, uh, stammering is actually that i am going to uh, do this uh, task of uh, stammering with an intention so uh, there is no pressure of uh, getting caught that i uh, stammer like that i am a, a stammerer well i think uh, that i make a uh, sense right mm -hmm. like no it makes a lot of sense because you can either it's the equivalent basically is the equivalent of self disclosure we can self to disclose and that will uh, accomplish something very similar it won't be a speech motor practice. It'll be just self-disclosure, but we can also voluntarily stand up in front of somebody and that's part of the self-disclosure as well. So Atharth, if you are going to be doing voluntary stammering with somebody without letting them know that you're going to be doing it, that's the equivalent of the self-disclosure that you could have done at the beginning of a conversation. My only recommendation to you is whether you do voluntary stammering or self-disclosure, which will also something we're going to get with that we're going to come to as part of the program, is do it early. Don't wait too long. Because if you wait too long, whether to announce that you're a person who stammers or to stammer voluntarily, if you wait, then your Pressure do hai zada hoga. Aapko lagega ki, do I do it? Do I not do it? I have not disclosed for so long. Ab, ab kya point hai? You'll talk yourself. You might talk yourself out of it. But if you get it out of the way, right at the beginning, timing is important. If you get it out of the way, right at the beginning, then you save yourself a lot of anxiety. And the decision that you have to do it or not, you've already made the decision. The equivalent would be, you know, when they talk about starting a new habit, you say, you know, do it in the morning, have it, have it, have it over with. What, what's called swallowing the frog? You swallow the frog early in the morning, so you have to swallow the frog later on in the day if it is a harder thing to do. So, um, okay, so that's the other thing. Great. I want to ask you a question, Adurama. I had watched a lot of your uh, uh, emotional recovery videos last year when you were in TOPG, when you went back to your your teachers in school and in college. Yes, sir. Do you want to talk a little bit about that experience? Because I, I don't know if any, if like, I don't know if anybody else here has shared it. So I was kind of curious if you want to chat about that a little bit more. Yes, sir. Like, uh, like uh, this uh, was in actually uh, 2022. So, mm. uh, well, I went back uh, to uh, visit my uh, school uh, teachers after like eight long years and the reason i uh, didn't uh, visit them for so long after passing icsc was that i was afraid that i will uh, stammer in front of them and they will think that even after all these years uh, you are uh, still the same uh, with the same problem and 
you have not improved at all so uh, that was my fear but uh, when i uh, joined uh, tisa and i uh, started the uh, topg uh, sessions and uh, uh, started uh, doing the uh, code tasks well i thought that uh, let's uh, deal with this fear also okay uh, so i uh, went to my school and i uh, first of all i uh, spoke with my principal sir and i uh, told him that uh, well i um, i uh, so uh, first of all when i was uh, talking with him i was actually uh, stammering a lot like um, then uh, when he asked me that why are you uh, talking like this uh, so i uh, told him that i have uh, this uh, stammering back when i was in uh, uh, school also so he uh, told me okay so uh, how are you uh, going to uh, deal with it and all things so i uh, told him that i have uh, joined an organization and i also uh, gave my uh, phone number to him uh, so that he can uh, contact me if uh, some of uh, his uh, students also face uh, stammering uh, so that tisa can help uh, that uh, child also then i uh, spoke with my uh, teachers who uh, once uh, taunted me uh, for my uh, stammering but they were like uh, so understanding all of a, a sudden that i uh, felt it uh, quite um uh, what to say like how to explain that feeling okay uh, so i feel that uh, they are just acting uh, that way because i am now an adult and i am um, now dealing with it confidently rather than uh, hiding it yeah yeah that's the big thing right you're dealing with it more confidently rather than hiding it that that shows up in the way you approach things that's the that's that shows up in your body language that shows up in the way you talk your intonation or oh, you can't hide that stuff your level of confidence that you have right now you cannot hide that stuff i think one of the good things is that when you go back in fact i wanted to model that for everybody here that if you want to go back to like the talking about emotional recovery again अगर आप कोई किसी के साथ आपका आपका एनकाउंटर हुआ जो जो पॉजिटिव नहीं था जो नेगेटिव था और रेगुलरली नेगेटिव था उनके पास जाके बात करना फिर से हैज अ स्पेशल प्लेस दैट अदर एम डेड राइट गोइंग बैक टू रिव इज इट द ट्रोमैटिक इंसिडेंट्स दैट हैज अ वेरी स्पेशल वैल्यू वेरी यूनिक इन इट्स पर्टिकुलर पोटेंसी in how it lowers your reactivity one of the important things that does is actually makes us realize that everybody's moved on you moved on right when you when you're making an emotional recovery video now and looking back on it part of it is you moved on and recognizing that the listener has also moved on so in adhurama's case when the people that were not nice to her in the past approached her this way and it was very different it makes you question your own assumptions about how much of what you think about the of of the person that you had an encounter 8 years ago or 9 years ago is still true you you are also checking testing all those assumptions when you're going through that process what you, um, what were you going to say uh, dr sajan i just wanted to say uh, that in south africa Uh, they they did a very unusual kind of experiment called uh, truth and reconciliation uh, commission mm. where they will invite both the parties the victim and uh, uh, and the and the people who persecuted them the uh, the, the policemen uh, doing apartheid uh, regiment regiment so 
the victim and uh, and the perpetrator they will they'll be brought together and they'll be have a chance to, con uh, to confront so the idea was is that uh, the lasting kind of peace lasting and during reconciliation is only possible when both the parties confront each other yeah in openness and uh, so in the same day, we, uh, we can spend uh, our entire life wondering about why did that teacher behave like this with me? Did he hold anything against me? Why was he so cruel? We, we can keep on wondering about these questions and, and can never reach an answer yeah. until and unless we go back to the same college and meet the same professor and discover mm -hmm. for ourselves that what happened was a random event. That yeah. that person also has totally changed and we also have totally change in the process of life. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to add that line. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but this was really yeah. amazing what, uh, what she did. And I think yeah. this is a method open for each one of us. Every yeah. time we feel that we have been treated unjustly, yeah. uh, instead of sulking away uh, for years and feeling bad and, uh, and, uh, uh, and developing a storyline about ourselves, I am the victim who suffered like this 10 years ago. Yeah. And then starting to believe that story and becoming a story itself rather than being a living human being, yeah. the better option is to go back and confront that person and find out for, uh, the truth for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I think it's a kind of a cancellation, if that makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of a cancellation, right? Very किसी yes, चीज yes, yes, इसी yes, शब्द yes, के ऊपर हकलाए yes. हैं तो उसको रिविजिट करना कोई इंसिडेंट हुआ उसको चेक करना उसको करेक्ट करना आई वुड इवन से कि अगर आप किसी अवॉइडेंस बिहेवियर में रेगुलरली एंगेज करते हैं तो उसको वापस जाना उस उस सेम सिचुएशन में अवॉइडेंस बिहेवियर नहीं करना वो भी एक टाइप की कैंसिलेशन है um it's just a it's just a different it's it, it can be used as a metaphor as well so um Mama, what were you were going to say uh, sir mm -hmm. i feel that uh even after uh, going back uh, to my uh, school where all my uh, traumas had uh, uh, started and confronting my uh, teachers and my friends but uh, still that uh, like that uh, feeling of you know that that uh, feeling that they need to be punished uh, that uh, feeling is uh, still uh, there inside me so <laughs> what can i do to like to uh, get Read of that feeling, that heaviness on my heart. Because join the uh, judicial services. Join judicial services. <laughs> Become a first class magistrate in Kolkata. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to do it. I I would say I would say to you, Adurema, there isn't you know not 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 everything has a solution. Let's like start there. You know, not every problem necessarily has an instant solution. You might you might find the more you're open about it, the more you uh, stutter with more agency, with more control, and with more openness, with less reactivity, with less anxiety, with less shame. The more you keep doing it, the closer you will be to letting it go. Um, if it involves some other ways of getting your emotions out, whether it is expressive art, whether it is like, you know, um, somebody wrote a letter to your, I, th I think it was Vikas who wrote, um, either Vikas or, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, you, you, somebody talked about writing a letter to your stammer. You might write a letter to the people that you're angry with, right? Even if you wrote a letter to the people that you're angry with saying that, okay, I'm still angry with you, but I'm trying to let it go. That gets it out of your body. That gets the thought out of the body. It makes it very real. It makes it very concrete. It makes it very tangible. You don't have to send the letter to anybody. You just keep it, hold on to it. And maybe every three or four months, revisit the letter. Maybe write something else. See your, see your own progress getting reflected in the letter. 
Um, quite often, one of the journaling exercises that is recommended is that if you're dealing with a problem, like a problem, like you're you're, you're thinking about, maybe you want to, you know, um, maybe two sides of the issue. Do I do this or I do do that? Let's say you're making a very important decision in your life. One journaling exercise is write in two different inks, whether it's electronically or manually, write it in do write it, it in two different inks, write it in two different uh, colors. Because then what will happen is over time, as you keep going back into it, you'll find one of the inks predominates. You're writing more in one kind of an ink. One kind of on, on one side of the ledger, you're writing more and more and more. That tells you, that gives you the data over time that I'm leaning more towards this. Kind of a variant of that practice would be something that you can do, right? Like start journaling about your anger. Uh, 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 and then over time, watch your responses change as well. Okay, wonderful. Let's go to um, Orkoi, who wants to share next? There are plenty of people left. Vikas is left. Yeah, there. there's plenty of left. people. Who wants to go next? Vikas is left. <laughs> Volunteer. We won't take uh, the names but... otherwise you'll get very nervous. Rusha is next. Go on. Okay. Uh, so basically, like, uh, like about my voluntary stammering, uh, like experience. Uh, something I have noticed is that, like, in the initial days, I would be a bit scared about like stuttering in front of people in public. So I would walk and just, like bypass the people but then like uh, last time when I did it on the bus I found that I wasn't that scared anymore like I was a bit scared but like not that anymore so like that's one plus uh, and another thing is like uh, uh, so like today I did my first voluntary stuttering outside the TOPG uh, like uh, like assignments so like like it was in class and I found that it really helped with my blocks so I got stuck in this one word of uh, contextual and I did the voluntary stuttering over there uh, but then like one negative thing is that like someone spoke over me and tried to finish it uh, but then again like I didn't say to like anyone that I'm going to like stutter here or like it, they should know because they know me for like three years now. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's the second point, and um, the oh yeah, and also like uh, like the third exercise where I'm supposed to like voluntarily stutter with a partner. Although I have been able to do it with my parents, sorry, my friends, I haven't been able to do it with my parents because like recently we sort of had a fight uh, over my stuttering. So I'm really finding this uh, like very difficult to like broach the subject again. So yeah, that is one of the points I wanted to like mention. Mm. Uh, and like I haven't been able to like do this uh, like visiting thing yet but i'll probably like get to it soon yes but... so when you're talking about stammering in front of your parents and talking about it Rusha, i think this may be a higher level challenge for you so it's not something that, you know we've been and not attacking we're not hitting all these challenges all at one time right so if it's you're making your point point is you're making you're taking little steps you're taking them regularly you're building momentum in the process. So maybe after this TOP is over, you'll get the courage, the muster, the courage to approach it with one of them for something. So don't feel like you need to do this while you're in the TOPG. Mm -hmm. There are lots of there are lots of things which are level threes and level fours, which may which we may not be able to get to in the next three months or even in the next six months. That's okay. We can get to the levels one and two. And then level three might become a level two. Level two might become a level one, right? So it's like this, this constant movement in all of these kinds of things. So don't feel compelled that you need to approach the top rung in your hierarchy right now. You know, you can take your time with it. This is a lifelong process. Thank you. Let's go to, uh, um, let's go to either Vinayak or, I just, yes. I sorry. just want to say one thing. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, uh, if parents are worried about your stammering or something like that, where where uh, uh, someone like us talking to them could help, don't hesitate to put them on phone and we can tell them that what is happening uh, uh, regarding stammering in your life. Okay, sir, thanks. Welcome. Uh, next to Binayak, yes. So uh, I have a confession to make uh, that I have not uploaded any videos in last two weeks uh, because there were many things that were going on. Uh, like my grandmother, uh, like my grandfather was not well. Uh, so uh, like he was down with COVID. So uh, he was admitted in an in an ICU. Uh, but believe me that. Uh, that I got a lot of challenging situations to practice in uh, because when I was staying with my grandfather in the hospital, uh, the nurses would come and talk to me uh, and just, you know, like ask about the tablets he was taking and all that. So that was a very nice and challenging experience to talk with people and I try to use prolongation, voluntary stuttering, try to look them in the eye and speak. Uh, they didn't mind my stammer. Uh, but yeah. Um, so so I'll probably get back in touch with the OPG from tomorrow. I'll start recording from module one. Uh, so I'm really sorry for losing track. No, no problem. Vinayak. For the sake of record, let me. For the sake of record, let me say that Vinayak may not have made uh, many videos in last one week, but he was very busy uh, pro producing our Samvat magazine. Samvat magazine uh, is being brought out by Tisa, and uh, Vinayak is the editor. And as editor, he has done a great job. I've seen this uh, issue. Thank you. It's a great job, and he needs a big, a big hand for his contribution. Thank you. Thank you, Vinayak. Lovely. I was going to say one of the entries in your next samvad could be one of the letters that we might write to our uh, spammer. What that looks like, if you want to, if anybody sure. wants to write a letter and share it in samvad magazine. That would be a good a good example for somebody else to sort of follow the lead, you know. Yeah. If somebody wants to do it. Maybe a letter writing context. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that is another thing. That's the other thing that we can do. Yeah. All right. Let's go with you, Vikas. You're the last one. Actually, no, no, you're not the last one. After that is Sanjay. Okay. So we can uh firstly go ahead with Sanjay. Uh Sanjay, you are um, sure. Uh, do you want to go up? Um, do you want to go next, Sanjay? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I can go. So, am I audible? Yes. Yes, it's your uh, uh, Go on. Hello, everyone. So, good, good evening. And uh, the, the Good morning, Amit sir. Like, my uh, uh, experience that I want to share with you. Like, last weekend, I had to do on Thursday and Friday voluntary stammering. Like, in the market, there were a lot of places. So, what was it? Like, I didn't have any attention to this thing. The next, uh, next bandha, me, so, person was coming to me. क्या सोचता सोच रहा है तो मैंने वॉलेंट्री किया मैं ब्लॉग में गया लाइक ब्लॉग्स में गया मे बी एक सेकंड क्या कुछ मिली सेकंड्स के लिए और उससे निकला तो मुझे उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा क्योंकि मुझे उसे मतलब ही नहीं था मुझे सिर्फ जो फियर वर्ड था उसको बोलना था और वॉलेंट्री करना था और फिर उसके बाद लाइक वीकेंड्स था तो मैं 
घर पे गया हुआ था तो तो लाइक वॉलेंट्री से मतलब मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा थोड़ा बिल्डअप हो गया था तो वैसे मेरी मम्मी एंड मेरे भाई को पता है कि मुझे स्ट्रेमिंग है बट पिछले वीकेंड में मैंने डिसाइड किया कि अब कोई वर्ड रिप्लेस नहीं होगा जैसा थॉट्स आया वैसा ही बोलना है क्योंकि तो मम्मी को पता ही है कि ठीक है स्ट्रेमिंग है बट हुआ क्या ना कि आई थिंक कुछ वर्ड्स मैंने लाइक like स्टार्टिंग जब मेरी वही कम्युनिकेशन की मम्मी के साथ तो कुछ वर्ड्स पर मुझे काफी तगड़ा ब्लॉक आया बट मैंने वो रिप्लेस नहीं किया उस वर्ड को और मैंने उसे बोला तो काफी तगड़ा ब्लॉक आया और काफी टाइम में वो ब्लॉक निकला तो मम्मी बोली कि तेरी स्टैमिंग थोड़ी बढ़ गई आई थी कि थोड़ा रिलैक्स होके बोल जो जो मम्मी ने बताया बट पता नहीं लाइक उससे मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा डाउन हुआ उसके बाद जो मुझे ब्लॉक्स आए हैं लाइक बट मैंने ये सोचा था कि मुझे बर्ड को रिप्लेस नहीं करना है क्योंकि मम्मी को पता है तो बर्ड को रिप्लेस नहीं किया बट ब्लॉक्स बहुत आए उसके बाद काफी ब्लॉक्स आए मुझे मीन्स एवरी वर्ड से ब्लॉक्स आ रहा है तो, तो क्या हो रहा है कि कभी कभी मम्मी हंस दे रही है कि ठीक है आराम से बोल ये क्या हो गया है तुझे और मेरा भाई मुझसे छोटा है तो वो लाइक वो वो मजाक लेता चीजों को क्योंकि वो छोटा है काफी तो वो वो बोलता है कि तो पहले ठीक था अब सीरी बढ़ रही है एक, किस तरह हो रहा है ये मतलब वो मजाक मजाक पैदा करता है वो तो उससे थोड़ा ना फ्रस्ट्रेटेड हुआ कि ये लाइक मैंने सोचा था कि मेरी फ्लुएंसी बढ़ेगी और स्टैंडिंग बढ़ रही है तो फिर मैं थोड़ा बैठा मैं एनालाइज किया कि यहाँ ब्लॉक्स मुझे इतने क्यों आ रहे हैं मैं क्यों ब्लॉक्स से बाहर नहीं निकल पा रहा हूँ तो जैसा सर सचिन सर ने कहा था एक वीडियो में बाउंसिंग आई थिंक बाउंसिंग या प्रोलोशन की वीडियो थी कि अगर एक लेवल पे बाउंसिंग वर्क नहीं कर रही है देन उससे नीचे लेवल पे आओ प्रैक्टिस करो फिर देन उस पर जाओ तो so, मैंने उस टाइम ये रियलाइज किया कि आ, मैंने इस टाइप की सिचुएशन से बाउंसिंग का की प्रैक्टिस काफी कम की है कि लाइक जहां पर मुझे आ, इस चीज में फोकस करना है कि बाउंसिंग के साथ मुझे ब्लॉक से निकलना है क्योंकि तो इससे पहले मेरी जो प्रैक्टिस थी वो ये थी कि बाउंसिंग से ब्लॉक से निकलना है बट ना निकलो निकलो उससे मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा था क्योंकि मैं स्ट्रेंजर के सामने यूज कर रहा था बाउंसिंग कभी टाइम लग रहा है कभी नहीं लग रहा तो फर्क नहीं था बट लाइक ऑफिस में और मम्मी के सामने जैसे वैसे वहां मुझे फर्क पड़ रहा है अगर मैं नहीं निकल पा रहा हूँ तो लाइक मैं फोर्स लगा रहा हूँ मैं बाउंस नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ जैसे दो बार बाउंस किया मैं नहीं निकल पाया फोर्स भी यूज करने लग जा रहा हूँ बाउंस भूल जा रहा हूँ कि बाउंस नहीं करना है क्योंकि माइंड में ये भी है कि वर्ड को रिप्लेस नहीं करना है बट नहीं निकल पा रहे उससे थोड़ा स्ट्रेस बढ़ रही है तो बाउंस गायब हो जा रहा है फोर्स स्टार्ट हो जा रहा है मेरा उस तरह वाला फिर मैंने क्या किया कि मैं मार्केट में गया वहां थोड़ी प्रैक्टिस की फिर मैंने मम्मी के सामने थोड़ा अवॉइड किया कि ठीक है अभी फियर वर्क को नहीं लेते हैं अभी सिंपल चलते हैं तो मेरा लाइक इस वीक का ये है कि थोड़ा मार्केट में प्रैक्टिस करूंगा थोड़ा टीशन में प्रैक्टिस करूंगा जब कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा आएगा फिर देन मम्मी के सामने फियर वर्क को उठाऊंगा वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक दो एक दो चीजें जो आपने बोली मैं उसको पॉइंट आउट करना चाहता हूँ सबके लिए एक तो ये बात है कि मैं लेट्स लेट्स नॉट इग्नोर द फैक्ट कि इस हफ्ते पिछले हफ्ते संजय ने एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण चीज की वो ये है कि उन्होंने आइडेंटिफाई किया कि हम मैं वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूट करता हूँ मैंने वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूट नहीं किया ये बहुत ही बड़ी चीज है अवॉइडेंस बिहेवियर को लिमिट करना avoidance understanding the role of avoidance behavior in the stammering experience what is it doing in the body is very important to understand and then limiting avoidance behavior which is what anaik was also saying like i try to maintain eye contact during my moment of stammering all of these avoidances are what has it, it really what really over time erodes quality of life right it adds to the reactivity in the experience it fuels the stammer um it 
we have a tendency to therefore not learn how to deal with those situations. So in case of Anjay, जैने जैसे कि उन्होंने वर्ड सब्सिट्यूट नहीं किया वर्डनेस नहीं किए तो उनकी ब्लॉक ज्यादा आ गए नाउ ऑब्वियसली ब्लॉक कम आए होंगे इन द पास क्यों बिकॉज़ ही वाज अवॉइडिंग तो अगर आप अवॉइड नहीं करेंगे तो आपकी स्टैमर और निकलेगी बट दैट इज सक्सेस व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से टू यू इज हाउ यू डिफाइन सक्सेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु गोस टू अ restaurant and order something else because whatever you want to order is hard to say then standing in line and placing an order for what you actually want even when you stammer is progress it 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 just depends upon how you define progress because if the progress is about coming out being more open about it being less reactive about it whatever the level of stammering might be that's prog- progress so i want to compliment what anjay did that it's actually a much higher level of progress because dealing taking off the coping strategy you know doing away with the coping strategy which is avoidance behavior these are all safety behaviors right they're all safety behaviors coping strategies jo bhi usko bolna bol chahte hain whatever terminology you want to use it's basically trading short term gain for long term pain right that's what happens with a lot of the avoidance behavior so the fact that you did not avoid is a massive level of progress what i want to recommend to you anjay jo main aapko ek chhota sa suggestion dena chahta hu ki agar aap dusri situation mein jaye hello hi yeah but cute kid suraj um suraj ka naam puch lo uska naam puch lo zara naam batana chahte hain ha naam 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 wo naam bolna chahta hai वो अपना नाम बोलना चाहता है नाम बोल अगर चाहता है मैं डांसन बोला हुआ है व्हाट इज योर नेम आर्यन आर्यन वेरी गुड आर्यन नाउ गो टू बेड इट्स वेरी लेट इन द नाइट आई थिंक ही ही वांट्स टू गो टू बेड विद पापा नॉट अ रूम so just just Sorry, just to complete that thought just to complete that thought very quickly i think one of the things you could do and then next time you get into a situation ki aap koi word avoid nahi kiya aapne usme kafi block aaya do a cancellation on one of the blocks cancellation ka matlab hai ki jaise aap block ke upar jaye agar aap block aapne kiya to jaise ki aapne काफी 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 टेंशन के साथ ब्लॉक किया तो मैंने जो ये सब कुछ किया अभी थ्रू अ वॉलेंटरी स्टैम दैट्स अ कैंसलेशन मैंने ब्लॉक में गया मैं ब्लॉक को रिलीज किया नेचुरली मैं जानता हूं कि मैं रिलीज कर रहा था तो आई वाज पुटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट माय आईज वर क्लोज माय हेड वाज मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेकिन उसके बाद जो मैंने रिपीट किया ब्लॉक जो है वो एफर्टलेस बाउंड से रिपीट किया और आई कांटेक्ट से रिपीट किया तो जो चीज मुझको ब्लॉक में करनी चाहिए थी आई कांटेक्ट मेंटेन करना चाहिए था वो मैंने नहीं किया ब्लॉक में वो ऑब्वियसली मैं नहीं कर पाऊंगा क्योंकि नेचुरली बॉडी में प्रक्रिया ऐसी है कि वी जस्ट मूव थ्रू द मोशन वी जस्ट डू डू थिंग्स इन रिफ्लेक्सिव वे सो वन वे टू डू दिस इज टू बी रिफ्लेक्टिव about a reflexive behavior if that makes any sense right what well, are doing the same behavior with a little bit more reflection with a little bit again don't do it for all the blocks you don't have to do it for all the blocks but if you if you've gotten blocked four times or five times at least do a cancellation on one of those blocks let your body experience that block a little bit differently on a redo even that will move oh. things in a different kind of a way uh yeah yes sir i one thing i want to say like jo ek ka 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 cancellation wala jo part hai 
मीन्स लाइक like, अगर मुझे पांच या छह बार ब्लॉक्स आए तो मैं दो या तीन बार कैंसिलेशन कर लेता हूँ लाइक like, थोड़ा सा डिफॉल्ट हो गया है कि मेरा जैसे जहां पर मैं कंफर्टेबल हूँ तो वहां पर मेरी कैंसिलेशन हो जाती है जैसे ब्लॉक में गया तो मैं रुकता हूँ फिर मैं कैंसिलेशन करता हूँ बट मेरा एक क्वेश्चन था कि लाइक जैसे ऑफिस में या फिर मम्मी या फिर भाई के सामने जैसे अगर ऐसा कोई ब्लॉक ब्लॉक है जिसमें इजिली निकल पा रहा हूँ जैसे अभी कुछ टाइम पहले मुझे ब्लॉक आया जिसमें इजिली निकल नहीं पाया तो जब इस टाइप के ब्लॉक्स सीरियल सीरियल वाइज मुझे आते हैं तीन चार बार तो उसके बाद मुझे मेरा लाइक एंगजाइटी और स्ट्रेस बढ़, बढ़ जाता है फिर तो उसके बाद मेरा अवेयरनेस बिहेवियर स्टार्ट हो जाता है राइट तो वो चीज थोड़ा राइट राइट तो तो दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज द कन्वर्सेशन आई वाज हैविंग अर्लियर विद यथार्थ जो यथार्थ वो बोल रहे थे कि मैं अगली बार कैंसिलेशन अगली बार वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग करूंगा किसी के साथ उनको बताऊंगा नहीं कि मैं कर कर रहा हूं तो आई सजेस्टेड टू हिम ट्राई इट बोथ वेज तो आपके लिए भी यही सिचुएशन है कि अगर आप मम्मी के साथ या अपने भाई के साथ बात कर रहे हैं और आप जानते हैं कि वहां पे आपको स्टैमरिंग ज्यादा होगी वहां पे आप ब्लॉक टेंस ब्लॉक में ज्यादा जाएंगे तो अगर आप क्योंकि आप जानते हैं आपकी मम्मी जानती हैं आपके भाई जानते हैं कि आप अकलाते हैं तो अगर आप उनको बताएंगे अगर अग, अगर आप एक टाइम उनको बता देंगे कि मैं ब्लॉक में जाऊंगा शायद लेकिन मैं एक बार उस ब्लॉक को रिपीट करके बोलूंगा अगर आपने उनको पहले से बता दिया है तो उनको भी एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि ये बिहेवियर होगा कि आप कैंसिलेशन में एंगेज करेंगे आपको भी थोड़ा आसान लगेगा क्योंकि आपने बता दिया क्लैरिफाई अपनी एक्सपेक्टेशन जो है क्लैरिफाई कर दी राइट right? तो उन सिचुएशन में जैसे आपने सही बिल्कुल सही बोला कि आप जब जब आप बार बार रिपीटेडली ब्लॉक में जाएंगे तो आपकी अवॉइडेंस की टेंडेंसी ज्यादा होगी दर इज एन इनवर्स को रिलेशन राइट द मोर वी स्टैम द मोर वी आर लाइकली टू अवॉइड बिकॉज इट बिकम्स ए नेगेटिव एक्सपीरियंस वेरी वेरी क्विकली so if you can tell your listener especially within the people that you're talking about that i might go back and repeat a word that i have blocked on then i think there is it lands differently in the body you're more capable of doing it at that time i'm not sure that you'll be ab- you will be able to do it you may be need a second round of practice or third round of practice like can do that practice by telling somebody that you're going to do the cancellation Yes, sir. And, so uh, try that. Let's go. Last person is the the class. He hasn't had a chance yet. Okay. Uh, thank you. So, मेरे साथ ये था कि मैंने voluntarily stammering metro में किया था solo. तो solo तो ठीक था लाइक solo तो थोड़ा वैसा है कि जो काफी बार S H G's में किया है. and uh, uh, that's quite comforting situation ka kind of and uh, to to fir maine ye realize kiya ki main kisi dost se milta hi nahi ho voluntary stammering conversation kis ke sath kiya jaye to to bhai routine is more like go to work be back and सुबह शा, शाम का भी जो टाइम मिलता है वहां भी कुछ कुछ काम वहां भी किया जाए एंड एंड आई एम लाइक आई एम नॉट लिविंग अ गुड लाइफ एंड एंड तो फिर मैं एक पार्क में गया मैं सोचा कि पार्क में थोड़ा लोगों को पकड़ा जाए दबोचा जाए वॉलेंटरी स्टैमरिंग के लिए तो फिर मैंने शुरुआत किया और 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 फिर बोला कि मैं वीडियो बना लो गया तो बोले कि वीडियो तो नहीं वीडियो तो नहीं तो फिर तीन लोगों से बात किया तीनों ने वीडियो बनाने से मना कर दिया तो तो फिर मैं अपना हताश मुंह 
ले करके वापस लौट गया एंड तो तो फिर अभी लगता है कि दोस्तों से मिलना पड़ेगा इस बहाने दोस्तों से भी मिल मिल लेंगे थोड़ी थोड़ी लोनली लाइफ सोशल लाइफ बन जाएगी गुड गुड विकास की बात सुनते मुझे लगा कि किसी ने कहा था ना कि देश में डर का माहौल है मतलब 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 ये जब जो वीडियो से इतना घबरा रहे हैं वो हकाने वालों से भी ज्यादा ज्यादा डर उनके मन में है मुझे लग रहा है मतलब अब तक ऐसा लगता था कि हकाने वालों को डर लगता है पब्लिक प्लेसेस में मगर यहाँ पे मैं उल्टा देख रहा हूँ देश में डर का माहौल है तो ये बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं कि आप इसी बहाने अपने दोस्तों की तरफ लौट जाइए आपके पुराने बैचमेट्स होंगे पुराने दोस्त होंगे उनको ढूंढ निकालो आखिर वॉल्टी फैमिली में काम नहीं आएंगे तो किस दिन काम आएंगे तो अभी ये सोच के जाना ये सोच के जाना कि मैं दोस्तों से पैसे मांगने नहीं जा रहा हूँ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बोरो मनी फ्रॉम देम अपने आप से कहना की मैं उसे मैं उसे पैसे मांगने नहीं जा रहा मैं स्कूटर मांगने नहीं जा रहा हूँ तो वॉल्टी स्टैमरिंग करने जा रहा हूँ उनके साथ अगर अच्छे दोस्त हैं तो पूरा साथ देंगे थैंक यू या थैंक यू सो सो मच एंड वन थिंग दैट आई फील कि मुझे काफी जरूरत है इज रिफ्लेक्शन एंड जो आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट तो अभी मैं एक चीज ये ये सोच रहा था वो एक वैसा सीन है कि आ, कि ऐसे लाइक यू नो देखते ही देखते वीक डेज पता नहीं कैसे निकल जाते हैं फिर 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 एकदम से एकदम से वीकेंड आया तो तो फिर माइंड में चमका गया तो वीडियोस बनाने पड़ेंगे वीकेंड आ गया है <laughs> दो ही दिन बाकी रह गए हैं मंडे फिर आ जाएगा <laughs> तो <laughs> yeah, yeah. तो 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 फिर अभी अभी मैं एक चीज ये करने वाला हूँ कि साढ़े छह से सात बजे के बीच में अपने का कैलेंडर में डाल लू कि ये टाइम रिफ्लेक्शन वाला है एंड यदि आप लोगों में से भी कोई कोई चाहे तो मैं उसमें आपका भी मेल आईडी डाल डाल दूंगा बट बट दैट विल नॉट बी अ मीटिंग दैट दैट विल बी जस्ट टू रिमाइंड दैट सीट कि एक हाफ एन आवर का सा स्लॉट है बस थैंक यू आई जस्ट गुड आइडिया दैट्स दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया आई आई हैव आई हैव बीन पार्ट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ ग्रुप्स राइटिंग ग्रुप्स वेयर वी गेट टुगेदर एंड फॉर एन आवर वी रिमाइंड ईच अदर बाय टेक्स्ट एंड सेइंग दिस इज आवर राइटिंग टाइम फॉर द नेक्स्ट आवर everything is off cell phone is off internet is off everything is off the tv is off it's just writing time 9 to 10 am is just writing time so if you can do something similar i think that would be helpful great thank you uh let's talk about next week we're in module 3 or module 3 mein do teen uh tasks hain actually there's a question from yatharth so or a or a or a, or a comment so let's go to him next Yeah, I just had a small co- comment on what Vikas was saying that how the week goes away and the weekend comes and the task re- remains. But I just want to, ah, uh, like when TOPG was there, ah, uh, it it was just a three weeks, two weeks program, and still we were able to complete those tasks. So I, so I think it's it, like it's that law. I don't know the name of it that. जितना टाइम है उतने में ही काम होगा अगर कम टाइम है तो कम काम हो सकता है सो दैट इज दुकैक्साम्पल ऑफ दैट लॉ यानी So um so let's talk a little bit about next week. Um the MOOC has stammering interview as one of them. I let Dr. Sach Achin talk uh, to you about that part of it. Um 
And um, so let's actually uh, start there. Do you want to give a bit of a briefing on that, Dr. Sajjan? Yeah. So uh, next week, you have to do the stammering interviews. And many of you already know about it. Many of you have already done it. But still, I, I would summarize a couple of uh, uh, important points to keep in mind while you are doing it. Um, the script for the stammering interview <clears throat> is already there in the resources. One of us will share the link in the group. So that script uh, is there. At the, uh, I mean, the questions which you are supposed to ask in the stammering interview. But I just want to request you to not to read from the script. Because that looks very bad when you approach a stranger with a piece of paper in your hand and you read questions from that. Okay, so what's your name? Okay, so have you seen somebody who stammers? Okay, so what do you think about stammering? So that that doesn't look very nice because your your uh, your communication, um, your connection with the audience keeps breaking because you are reading off the script. So I would say play with the script. Read it, understand the drift of a question, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, tweak with it. I mean, just then uh, understand the, the drift of the question, and then make your own questions as you go along in the interview. Uh, there's no sort of restriction on you that you have to ask only these five questions, and you have to ask these questions in exactly in this order. No, it's not like that. Understand the spirit of that questionnaire, and then make your own questions and uh, talk to the to the stranger second thing i want to say um is start always start with the with the proper protocol which is you have 5 minutes uh, to answer some questions on stammering if the person says yes uh, then you can also say uh, that uh, whenever you have got to go whenever you whenever your bus comes just get up and leave you don't have to worry about that you can leave in the middle if you have got up, uh, if you have to get up and and second thing, you can tell them that uh, that uh, I that if you permit, I would like to record a video for my own self because my therapist has asked me to record this interview as a part of my therapy. If he says uh, video, I'm not comfortable with, then you can say, okay, then uh, may I record the audio and just make him understand that you you are recording this interview. Uh, only for your own benefit, because you have been asked by your therapist to do so. Otherwise, some people have got all kind of all funny ideas why they are being recorded in the park with a stranger by a stranger. Yeah. So and, uh, uh, third thing and third thing. Yeah, please go on. Yes, doctor. No, no, no. Please, I thought you I thought you were through. Please go on. But just the third point is that when you end the interview, initially we are giving you all these uh, prompts and all these ideas, but after three, four, five interviews, you can play with it. You can do whatever you want to do in these interviews, as long as you're talking with the stranger. Uh, so initially, uh, we will recommend that you conclude the interview by asking this question, that uh, while conducting the interview, I must have stammered a couple of times or many times. Uh, did it cause any problem? Did you have any difficulty in understanding me? This is very important because many of us have this subconscious belief that because of his stammering, I'm a poor communicator. Nobody understands. Me. So it's better that you have it straight from the horse's mouth by asking this question to them that I stammered many times during this interview. Did you have any problem? With it? And then whatever they say, note it down or put it in your head somewhere. Mm. And uh, and then, of course, thank them and uh, and wish them well for the day. And the last point which I want to say is very important is afterwards, listen to that audio or watch that video and see how you are communicating with the person. Pay less attention to your stammering and your disfluencies. Pay more attention to the, to the thing that uh, whether you are able to communicate with that person or not. Uh, what kind of expression he has when he listens to certain questions. Is he able to understand it immediately or is there a look of incomprehension? So mm -hmm. assess the whole thing from the from the perspective of communication. Did you succeed in communicating those questions or did you not? So review that whole in, uh, interview from that perspective. So that's all I want to say about communication interview. Uh, these are the 
guidelines only for the beginners but once you become comfortable then you can do whatever you want to do with that as long as you talk to strangers and as long as you record it and you do it back to amit i would say exactly this i think if you want to increase your challenge for those of us who want to increase our challenge uh, as i said to you earlier do the voluntary stammering uh, do voluntary stammering while doing the interview that way uh, you can actually very specifically ask the question about i voluntarily stammered as dr sajin is saying at the end you can ask the question i you know i i i stammered when i talked to you uh, did you find it hard to understand me All right if you're doing voluntary stammering it would make total sense to ask that question right away so not only is it a higher level of challenge to do this interview with a voluntary stammer but you can also tap into the listener perceptions of what that actually sounded like to you uh basically uh humko ek video kam se kam banana hai stammering interview karne ke liye aur google form mein dalna hai uske ilawa agar hum apne aap ko aur challenge karna chahte hain then let's go right ahead and do that as well so if you want to make do more stammering interviews more than one stammering interview maybe one within your comfort zone one little bit higher than your comfort zone one with one set of questions one with a slightly different set of questions maybe even questions that are more geared towards a particular listener that you're talking to play with it as dr sachin is saying there is a script but you feel free to sort of play with that script a little bit um to increase your challenge that's one thing the other task here is again it's a video making task um make a shortish video 4 minutes 5 minutes thinking about what avoidance behaviors we do kis type ki avoidance behavior mein hum regularly engage karte hain shab change karte hain eye contact evade karte hain pauses add karna shuru kar dete hain circumlocution karte hain talking around a point किसी को बोलना है उसको हेलो बोलना है उसको हेलो नहीं वो अला यू नो जो भी है थिंक अबाउट दस बिहेवियर दैट वी डू एंड कैटलॉग दम इन दीडियो दैट कुड ऑल्सो बी अ वेरी गुड जर्नलिंग एक्सरसाइज दो आर डूइंग जर्नलिंग इन एन ऑप्शनल कैन यूज दैट एज अ प्रॉम्प्ट एंड वे इन ऑन इट रेगुलरली एंड वॉट गोन हैपन इज ऑल द लिस्ट ऑफ अवॉइडेंस बिहेवियर इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम टू अस राइट अवे right we're going to have to think about it so that's another thing that a reflective journaling prompt can do it's like here's a prompt what are my what are what are, what are my avoidance behaviors catalog four or five things we did the day to avoid next day add to that list and importantly also ask yourself this question which we're going to be dealing with very specifically next week what are the pros and cons of avoidances that's going to be a big topic for to pg next week so let's come prepared to chat about it we were going to talk about it here a little bit today but the time got spent in something else which is perfectly good so let's keep this for next week what are the pros and cons of avoidance behaviors avoidance behaviors are completely natural completely expected in the stammering experience but just because something is a safety behavior doesn't mean it's a healthy behavior so so uh let's think a little bit about what are the challenges what are the constraints and opportunities of avoidance behaviors pros and cons if you want to uh position it that way and let's have a good conversation next week about like you know how it helps us out and how it also creates trouble for us in the long term so so two things just to repeat one is at least one video on a stammering interview with somebody you can do more in fact i would suggest to you we would all suggest to you do more but at least do one and secondly make a video on your avoidance behaviors i would be a little bit careful about not making that video at the beginning of the week i would make it towards the end of the week so you've had time to think about it you have time to to write a list maybe reflectively journal a little bit aur uske baad jo hai agar aap agar aap apne aap ko written data denge is type ka written data denge ki ye mere avoidance behavior hai ye maine monday ko catalog kiye ye maine tuesday ko catalog kiye maine wednesday ko catalog kiye to main video jo hai iske upar friday ko banaunga friday friday ya saturday ko banaunga make it by friday if you can so we can take a look at it and give the feedback on it as well so 
Let's do, let's do that. So module three is largely about techniques. So we'll be talking more about techniques. Uh, we might even do a little, little bit of a, depending upon number of people in the, in the group next time, we might even do a masterclass next week on cancellations. Um, that might be something I can lead, uh, teach people how to do a cancellation um, and do some practice with it on Monday yeah, next week. So the Monday next week is going to go a little bit differently because of the time we're going to like not start with this share out at the beginning. Uh, everybody has done, you know, these stammering interviews in some way or the other, not everyone, but, one, but, but a lot of us have. So I'm going to be, we're going to skip that part and we're going to talk very specifically about what our avoidance behaviors are, what they do, what the pros and cons are. We might even do a little shared screen with a table and saying what are the pros, what are the cons, let's add to that list. That can become part of the MOOC materials as, as well. And the rest of the time, we're going to spend a little bit on practice and cancellations. So, yeah. That's that's kind of what I have here for today. Do you want to make some you want to make some concluding comments, Dr. Sutton? I think I'm through, but we can ask a, a, any of the participants who want to conclude. Yeah, share some one liner, some one liner joke. <laughs> uh, I had a. <laughs> I had a, a doubt, uh, like I had a question. So uh, in the module two, we had bouncing, prolongation and all those techniques. Uh, uh, like are they covered or will they be covered later? If you pay attention, if you go through the course description, I've explained there that, uh, uh, that uh, in module two, uh, that description uh, is not uh, totally sort of uh, taken. You have to just focus on the voluntary stammering at that time. So the, these techniques will be taken later on. Okay. Uh, so the bouncing, pronunciation, all those things will be taken uh, later on. This time we just wanted to do voluntary stammering, which you have already done. So nothing Good. more of that. Right? So anybody wants to conclude with a smart thought or with a funny thought? It's almost 10 o'clock. Please come up with a joke. Quick. <laughs> It's time, it's time for me to go to sleep. Sir, so please Some, conclude Rahul. with one line. Rahul, 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 Rahul has a joke. Yes, please, sir. Sir, ah, so, so actually, my sir, I have a conference, jo, jo thi, sir. So, conference, mein, mein hi, mein, mein actually, mein, jo, uh, jo, jo log, uh, aklate, sir, unke liye jo, sabse, uh, jo insan hota, wo hota hai, bas ka conductor. So, jab mein, वहां पर पहुंचा तो वहां पर एक कंडक्टर भी आया था वो भी सब अकला रहता था मेरे क्या तुमसे तुम डरते यार तुम भी इधर ही आके तो वो हुआ सर हां वो वाला एक्सपीरियंस या आई जस्ट वांट टू कंक्लूड विद आई वांट टू कंक्लूड विद व्हाट व्हाट विकास सेड विकास व्हाट विकास सेड वाज रियली फनी आई थॉट दैट एज एज राहुल सेड कि हकलाने वाले डरते रहते हैं पार्क में जाके लोगों से बात करने में मगर विकास ने तो जो बताया उसका मतलब ये है कि नॉर्मल स्पीकर्स दे आर सो फ्राइटेंड व्हेन ए स्टैमरर अप्रोचेस देम एंड सेज मैं वीडियो बनाऊंगा एंड दे से नो प्लीज वीडियो मत बनाओ दे सीम टू बी मोर स्केयर्ड देन वी एवर आर सो गाइस थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीवन वी हैड अ रियली गुड टाइम एंड अ रियली गुड डिस्कशन अ रियली गुड इन डेप्थ डिस्कशन एंड सो थैंक्स टू एवरीवन डॉक्टर अमित and all of you a big thanks so it's almost 10 o'clock here time to get into bed and you also have got a lot of things to do i'm sure because many of you go to sleep at 3 a.m <laughs> so okay thank you so much thank good night guys. and take care Talk thank you, you for the bye. see you next week bye sir